Hello, welcome to another Fallout modding tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be dealing with material swaps for retextures uh, to be able to add them as uh, new armor pieces rather than uh, overwriting the original textures or using mods like I've shown in a previous video. Uh, today I'm going to be using the uh, red dress that Magnolia wears, or some people call it the slinky dress. Um, I've already extracted the vanilla assets so that I can find my NIF file because I'm going to need to use that to get the path for the uh, material file that it uses uh, natively. Uh, if we open that up and we go to our address here, we can see that our name field here for our BS lighting shader property uh, shows the full path uh, to the BGSM file. Um, here we have materials, clothes, slinky dress, slinky dress.bgsm. Uh, I've already written that down here in my little notepad uh, that I use for quick reference and copy and paste. Uh, so we have exactly what it says right there. Uh, I've also already written out what my replacement file is going to be because I already created one. Uh, if I come in here and put that in, we can see that it changes it to be a purple dress instead of the red one. Um, as I said, I've already created my material file. So I did some research ahead of time. Uh, I've named it Slinky Purple BGSM. And basically all I did was change the direct file name of the diffuse texture, uh, which I also have down here uh, in my data textures to close slinky dress. I named it slinky purple D. Anyway, uh, so let's get right to it. Uh, I went ahead, since I'm doing the red dress, I'm going to be making a copy of that particular item. I grabbed the reference IDs here. Uh, I also need the armor record for the armor add-on. So I've got that one here. Um, now I use the Boss Knight Under Armor for the material swap. You could make it manually, you can copy any material swap, it really doesn't make any difference. I'm going to go ahead and load up our X edit. Uh, now if we go ahead and copy our ID here, come down, get our slinky red dress, make a copy of that one, and I'm going to call this slinky dress purple, and I'm going to keep that editor ID here. Make a new file, and we're going to call this one Slinky Dress Retextures. And actually, I shouldn't have made a copy of that, but oh well. I'll copy uh, the armor record. Go ahead and make that one. And we're going to go ahead and grab our material swap. So here, the reason I went ahead and did some research and got my uh, paths here is because in our material swap, we have a base name and a swap name. The base name will be the path that's inside the NIF file without the materials uh, prefix on it. So in this case, it's going to be close slinky dress, slinky dress BGSM. So let's go ahead and make a copy of this so we can start editing that. And we'll call that slinky dress purple swap. And we'll go ahead and edit that really quick. And put in the destination that we want to swap to. So the way you can easily read this is the base material is the material it's going to look for. And it looks for this name inside the NIF file. So any mesh that uses this file will get switched to this one whenever this material swap is applied to that NIF file. Uh, that is going to be more apparent here in just a moment when I come back up. Uh, if we hit F2, that gives us our uh, rename so I can copy our form ID which I'm going to need here to be able to reference as I'm editing um, the material swap that we're going to use in the drop item and then also in our uh, armor add-on. So actually first I'm going to change our name because we're not a red dress, we're a purple one. And we're going to go ahead and put in the ID so now it's pointing to the material swap. So this is very easy. Uh, we don't have to worry about a female world model because when you drop it, it just goes to the male anyway. Uh, we do need to change our armature. Very important, we don't forget that. And that actually, I can go here and copy it. And just paste that in really quick. Uh, so now that we're pointing to our slinky purple dress instead of the red one, and we can go ahead and edit that. Um, actually, we need our material swap ID again. 
I should have just made a uh, done all those and then went back. Anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and add those references here. Make sure I didn't forget anything that I'm supposed to change. Nope. Change our name. Add it in our swap. Change our armature. And we have our material swap. So if you want to do additional colors, you would just repeat all of that for each additional color. You could do orange, red, no, well, we already have red, uh, or whatever colors you want to do. Once we're done, we can hit Control S to save. Make sure that we're saving the right file. And then we'll go ahead and close. From here, we'll go ahead and make sure we activate our file. And launch. So I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so here we are in game. Yeah, so let's go help find our purple. And we want the dress. So if we go ahead and put that on. And we'll see that we are wearing our purple dress, not the red one. And then if we go ahead and drop that, we can see that it's also purple, not in red. And that's about it. If you want to add additional colors, you can copy those three records once again, uh, updating them to point to your new uh, additional texture, and that would be all.